Hello everybody, welcome to my tutorial on how to play Peg by Steely Dan. Um, this is going to be a pretty full tutorial. I'm going to show you all the little trills, how to do the bass line and everything. Um, so first we're just going to start with the chords, the basic chords, and then we'll move into how to do the bass line and how to do some trills in the, your right hand. And um, you'll start to get a full picture of how to play the song. So let's start with the intro. The first chord we have is... A G major 9, that is F sharp, A, B, D over G. Then we go to an F sharp 7 with a raised ninth. We have A sharp, E, and A over F sharp. And then we go to an F6 chord. That's A, C, D, F over F. And then we go to an E7 with a raised ninth. We've got G sharp, C, D, G over E. Then we go to an E flat major 9. F, G, A sharp, D over E flat. And then to a D7 with a raised ninth. And that is F sharp, A, C, F over D. So start from the beginning. Then we move into the verse, and it starts with this uh, G major 7. That moves into a G sus 2 over B. So, we've got B, E, and G over C. And then A, D, and G over B. You can kind of hear that that wants to resolve down to G instead, like this. But they chose to resolve it to the seventh of C, so it gives this kind of tension to it, and I think it sounds better to play it that way. That sounds closer to the song. And so that continues until you move into this F major seven that resolves down to a C sus two over E. Again, you can hear that wants to resolve to C and not E. Again, they chose to resolve it to the seventh of F. So for this F major seven, you've got E, A, C over F, and then for this uh, C sus two over E, you've got D, G, C over E. Then we go back to that C major seven, and then we go to this part where it's a G major 7 that resolves to a D sus 2 over F sharp. So, G major 7, we've got F sharp, B, and D over G. And then D sus 2 over F sharp, we've got E, A, and D over F sharp. And then we go back to the F major 7 to C sus 2. So I'll play the verse from the beginning for you. Do 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 do. So that repeats again for the second part of the verse, and then we move into the chorus. And again, I'm going to show you how to do the bass line for the chorus and everything after this, but I just want to start you with the basic chords so you just have an idea of how everything feels, how the rhythm feels, and then we can get into the more complicated stuff. Um, so the chorus starts with the same uh, G major 7 to G sus 2 over B. Peg, it will come. And then we go to a... This is pretty much an A minor 11, but not exactly. I have it written as a C sus 2 over A. It looks like this. So you've got A, C, D over A. So peg, it will come back to. And then we go to an E7 sus 4. U, A, D, E over B. E. Peg, it will come back to. And then you repeat 
read that again. Hey, it will come back to you. And then we go to this, um, let's see here. Do, do, do. So then we've got this. Um, so this is an A sus2 over C sharp. That's B, E, A over C sharp. And that resolves down to a C major 7. So da, da, B, E, A over C, or sorry, B, E, G over C. And then we go to a G6. That resolves down to an F sharp 7. So G6, we've got G, B, E over G. And then F sharp 7, we've got F sharp, A sharp. C sharp and E over F sharp. So, pig, it will come back to you. Then the shutter falls, you see it all. Got a B minor right here. B, D, F sharp over B. You see it all in. And then we go back to that same E7 with the raised ninth. Got um, G sharp, C, D, and G over E. You see it all in 3D. And then we go to an A minor 7. A, C, E, G over A. And then to a C over D. So C, E, G over D. So Peg, it will come back to go back to and then we have this little turnaround part that gets us back into the intro so it goes starts with this F sharp 7 that is F sharp A sharp C sharp and E over F sharp and then we go to a B minor 7 A B D F sharp over B and then to an E minor 7 B D E G over E and then back to a B minor 7, but in a lower inversion. So F sharp, A, B, D over B. And then to a C6 sus2 chord. So we've got G, A, C, D, and E over C. So do, do, do. And that leads us back into the intro. All right, so those are the basic chords. Now it's time to go over how to do the bass line and the intro part in the chorus. It's gonna be a little hard, but it sounds really good once you get it. All right, so I'm just gonna only play the bass line for this part. We'll worry about adding the chords on top of it later. And so there's no way for me really to describe how to play the bass line to you in words. So I think the easiest way to do it is just to play it really slowly for you. Uh, you can see on the screen the piano keys that are being played, and hopefully that'll help you be able to learn it, and you won't have to slow the video down or anything. So it starts on this G, and so I'm just going to play it really slowly. time a little quicker. And so when you add the chords on top of it, it sounds like this. So I'll play it full speed now. So just 
just take some time to uh, practice the bass line on its own, practice it really slowly, pa practice rolling your thumb over to reach those notes that are far away. Um, and once you get better, try to play it quicker, and then you can start adding the intro chords on top of the bass line, and it'll just progress from there. Um, so then, in the verse part, there are some little trills you can do with your right hand that just liven up the song. So the first one I do a lot is play this D, E, G, E. You can also just make that da, 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 da. And you can do the exact same thing with the uh, F major part. Da, 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 G, A, C, A. Or the same thing with uh, the other part. Da, 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 C, A, or sorry, G, A, G, A. And so those are. Those are pretty simple little trills you can do, but it livens up the song a lot. Right? Okay, so a little more complicated trill you can do if you want to go all out for this song is this. So you got B flat, B, A, G, E, G. And you can just add that in with the other trills. Um, and that works the same for the F major part. Right? The little trill you can do over this part is just to go up here and play G fifths. So, so just practice doing some of those. It really livens up the song. Um, the bass doesn't have to change or anything. It's just that same rhythm, but. trills like that, they really add a lot to the song. Okay, so now for the uh, chorus bass line. Again, there's no way I can really explain this to you in words. I'm just going to play it on the screen slowly, and we'll ramp up the speed, and you'll be able to pick it up from just watching. So it starts on C, and I'll play it slow. faster this time, make it sound more like the actual bass line. Right? And then practice that slowly like the last time. You know, just start to ramp up the speed over time. And then eventually you can add the chords over top of the bass line will sound like this. You can add that same trill there.
All right, so I'll go ahead and play the full song for you with all the little trills and the bass line parts so you can hear it in full, and I'll, I'll play it slow, so. so much for watching. I hope this will help you learn this song. It is a fantastic song and it's really fun to play on the piano once you get all the little trills and stuff. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for watching.